So Susie, we're here at uh, Data Art's fourth installment of its question time. A very open discussion from the panel. Uh, I think some competitors here, people coming from uh, different perspectives, but I think a lot of agreement, in fact. Uh, and one of those points was, in fact, um, that in terms of distribution, it's about finding balance. Yeah, I think that's key. I think, um, you know, we, we all have a, an ultimate goal, which is to make as much money as possible for our businesses and uh, to do so uh, while delivering a really great guest experience. And I think there's, you know, an understanding of how customers want to book and how they like to find and consume hotel content. So I think for us, it is about finding the balance. It's understanding that um, there are many ways that customers like to, to find and research travel. We need to make sure we're everywhere. We need to make sure we're transparent in terms of pricing and value. Um, but ultimately, customers need to have the choice to book how they wish. Um, their experience should be exactly the same. Um, and ultimately, our digital reputation is, is what's going to drive uh, future business and future growth. So you made a point about um, technology companies in, in terms of uh, allowing them to assist you in terms of you work with technology companies who come up with new innovative products, ideas, and that's how you develop your company or your product and you focus on the customer. Yeah, I think as hoteliers, you know, we're focused on delivering an amazing customer experience and we spend a lot of time working through that, whether that's investing, recruiting, training, um, in order to give our guests the best experience. So I think we're never going to innovate in a technology space. Um, so for us to move ahead and be competitive and also give guests a, a, an easy and uh, accessible booking platform, we need to be able to work with other technology partners who can bring a product to market very quickly and help us to, to stay ahead. Uh, a, a good question came from the audience in terms of um, the cost of pay-per-click advertising uh, and uh, you were very clear in terms of Facebook has, has delivered for you this year. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I mean we've really moved um, away from reliance on Google PPC defining our marketing digital spend. Um, social media has been uh, a really interesting um, project uh, in, you know in terms of we, we weren't really sure if it was the right platform for our brand right platform for our customer but like with anything in marketing you have to give it a go and we've seen some amazing success this year in terms of promoting our content specifically through Facebook um, definitely where we're able to kind of pinpoint and really be very specific about our um, targeting of our audience um, certainly around a lot of some of the the kind of non-residential activities whether it's around restaurant afternoon tea specific events in our hotels but um, Facebook is certainly delivering an amazing ROI this year and probably a much more interesting uh, ROI than we would have expected to see and it's probably fair to say that you, that you are important to, to note that you said you haven't given up on, on pay-per-click. There's still a brand experience there um, that you're still working with, with pay-per-click. Um, pay-per-click got very expensive. And I think everyone is you know, very aware of that, especially in the travel space. Do you think Facebook and social might go down that road as well and we'll end up in the same scenario in a few years until somebody else comes along? Or is it about the audience that Facebook has that Google ultimately doesn't have in terms of knowing its audience? Yeah, I think I think both of those items. I mean, pay per click from a brand uh, term perspective and a brand keyword perspective is still important to us, and um, we definitely see that as the end of the funnel, and it's a real key point of conversion, certainly delivering traffic to our site. Um, I think absolutely uh, any successful publishing advertising model will evolve to what's going to make the most money for the publisher. Um, so I'm sure that it's going to absolutely move in in that way but I think at the moment you know it's a great uh, example of being an early adopter um, and learning the lessons now while it's probably a bit cheaper to do so. And tell me lastly this environment this forum uh, very relaxed very open very different to uh, a, a traditional travel conference um, did you enjoy it do you enjoy this kind of environment did you learn from today? Yeah, I always learn. Uh, I really enjoyed um, being part of this kind of event because it's interesting to hear perspectives uh, outside the hotel specific industry and really branching into travel 
uh, a lot of the big travel companies uh, are far more uh, exposed to uh, to a lot more innovative ideas than perhaps the hotel specific conferences. I think it was very open. I think um, the questions were intelligent and probing. They weren't confrontational, and uh, you know, no no one was looking for an argument. They were really just looking to learn, and that's the kind of environment that I like to be part of. Excellent. Thanks for your time, Susie. Pleasure.